How about you? Welcome to Hamiltonville Farm. In this video, we're going to cover the basic operation of a box blade. Stick around. The box blade that you decide on will come in various sizes. A lot of people choose uh, the sizes that are associated with the width of their tractor uh, or how many horsepower their tractor has. So those are things that you can consider when you're choosing what size box blade to get. I chose a six foot wide box blade because of the roads and some of the trails that I'm going to be making. And so each box blade has a rear blade, which is the black blade you can see here. It's curved. Let me show you how curved it is. So you can see that it's got a curve to it. That's so you can push back the dirt and debris as you're backing up the tractor. And it also has a inside blade. And this inside blade is curved as well. And that drags the debris. A lot of these blades are reversible. So you can, if they wear out, if you use your box blade over a lot of gravel or concrete, you can replace them. A lot of, you know, some people call them box scrapers. Some people, you know, we'll call them box blades for the purpose of the video. But these are shanks that they have. Some people call them ripper shanks. Some people call them scar fires. And you can, I have mine up because I don't, I don't need them to break up any ground or to, to break up any roots or tear up any roots, things like that. So I leave mine up. Now, if I get into a situation where I need to break the ground up or I need to remove some roots, then I will take these shanks and I will turn them upside down. I can also adjust the, the box blades tilt. I can adjust it left or right and I can you know, kind of give it an offset, if you will, because if you want to use the box blade to help crown a driveway or a road, then you can, um, use that the the three-point hitch the the right linkage of the three-point hitch to kind of offset or tilt the box blade to help you shoot uh help you with the crown on the the driveway or the road that you're messing with all right so let me show you some of those functions you can adjust the depth of these ripper shanks on your box blade depending on how deep you want to make the uh cuts into the area that you're working in and you simply do that by removing the key that holds this ripper shank in place. All right. And then this ripper shank has three holes in it. One, two, three. And that adjusts the height of the ripper shank. So you place it back from underneath. Bring it back. And simply pull it up. So that's the top hole. So the shank is going to be deeper. And if I want a more shallow approach, I raise it to the the hole that's the appropriate size for the, the depth of that shank that I want it. This particular box blade has holes uh, and pins in it. I've seen shanks on box blades. I've seen shanks on box, box blades that have notches that are cut in them. And so you can manipulate the, the height and depth of the, of the shank with uh, the notches that are, that are uh, inside the shank itself. But for my purposes, I don't have anything that I need to rip up at this particular point, so I turn mine upside down and resecure it. On your three-point hitch, you're going to have an adjustable linkage. One of those arms is going to be, if not both, are going to be adjustable. And on the Mahindra 4540, I have this one here. You pull up this bracket and then you twist to offset the angle however angle however much angle you want in it 
you just turn the knob and it adjusts it adjust, uh, uh, how level or the angle of the box blade. And then reset your, reset your uh, piece that secures the, the linkage. Now that you're familiar with some of the basic components of the box blade, let's talk a little bit about safety. You should always make your adjustments on your box blade with the tractor off, all right? Parking brake set and all that good jazz because you, it only takes a second for your hydraulics to fail or, you know, your tractor to roll while you've got your foot underneath it or something like that. You'll crush your toe. You'll maybe catch a, catch a hand in something that, you know, in between uh, uh, the box blade and another object or something. So be real careful. It only takes a second to turn your tractor off, get off of it, make your adjustment, and get back on it. And you know, that, that 30 to 45 second process may, say, may save a limb. So be careful when you're operating a box blade. And again, this is, we just talked about some basic overview type stuff. Uh, there's some experts out there that are watching this video that own land management companies and they own or they work for landscapers, whatever the case may be, who use a box blade on a daily basis. And if you're one of those uh, people, leave a comment below about some tips and tricks to help us all learn. You know, there's an old saying, high tide lifts all boats, right? And so in this community here on this channel, we're, trying, we're beginner hobby farmers. I've said it a hundred times. So help us grow by sharing some of your tips and some of your tricks on how to operate the box blade. But what we're going to do now is we're going to watch Gina do a very basic operation of the box blade uh, when I was teaching her how to drive a tractor. And so let's just kind of watch to see how she does it and uh, let's go from there. All right, for your box blade work, so we'll teach you how to do the box blade. Um, you're going to start with uh, the blade just slightly above the ground. And whatever you want to pull, you're just going to, you're going to pull that pile of debris or dirt or whatever. And then as you slowly go forward, you're going to take your right hand and you're going to uh, manipulate that lever on the, the black knob there, the lower and lift lever. Uh, and that will bring, that will raise that box blade ever so slightly if you do it slow and that will release that dirt from underneath it. And that's how you kind of... So you, do you start with it all the way on the ground? You can start with it just slightly above the ground, maybe, maybe a half inch. Okay. All right. Let's try it. Let's try it. Gina does good, don't she? You know, it's nice to have a spouse that come out here and work on the tractor with you. I don't, I don't let her get all carried away now. Don't get me wrong. This is my tractor. So uh, <laughs> I call it my tractor therapy when I'm working on it. I throw my Bluetooth headphones on and I go to work, you know, and Gina's like, your playlist cracks me up. You know, I, I listen from everything from Motown to George Jones, back to the Bee Gees, back over to Ozzy Osbourne. You know, I, I got the whole spectrum covered. So uh, I just throw my tunes on and I go to work. But anyway, I want to tell you a little bit about our channel before I let you go. 
Our channel has grown like wildfire. It's crazy the growth that we've experienced. And it's all because of great people like you. People who smash that subscribe button and like our videos and leave comments in the section in the comment section below. You know, without that community, our channel wouldn't grow. And so we really appreciate it. We're beginners. We don't know everything. So it's really cool to see other beginners kind of join with us and we all learn together. And it's also good to see the experienced homesteaders and the experienced hobby farmers jump in here and say, this is how I did it when I started out. This is how you should do, you know, this is what you should consider when you're, you're doing this fence line, when you're raising these goats, when you're feeding these chickens, or whatever the case may be. It's a really cool community that we've, that we've kind of built here at Hamiltonville Farm through our YouTube channel. And it's because of great people like you. If you're not a subscriber, please smash that subscribe button come along with us learn share your thoughts share your ideas we love that kind of interaction you'll see the picture on, on, in the corner here on the video our social media instagram hamiltonville farm uh, facebook hamiltonville farm and twitter's hamiltonville farm all that's the same go follow us like us subscribe to us we appreciate that and you know it's just uh we're just glad to have you along thanks a lot and we'll catch you on the next video